All right, we're back on the Resident Evil rumor mill once again this week, apparently. I do regret actually making that video about Resident Evil 1 remake remake the other week because I strongly suspected after I'd done that video that most of that information sounded pretty fake to me and the fact that uh, it was really just a good guess a lot of the stuff that that guy was going on about so it really didn't warrant talking about it. It's a nice bit of discussion topic though of course talking about anything that's Resident Evil but you really don't want to become someone that just spreads a bunch of rumours for the sake of it. But the, the ones this week have a little bit more credibility to them because it's actually Dusk Golem that's talking about them and this guy has a bit of a reputation for being right about a lot of stuff in the past. I think it's maybe best if we just like take a wee look at these and see what he's actually talking about. So apparently the re 9s going through a little bit of a delay and they wouldn't even expect it to maybe even be announced this summer. Sounds like a bit of a bummer because I genuinely thought like RE9 would be the next one in line for coming out. I'm still kind of like leaning towards that before any other remake for me personally, but apparently here like 9 is actually going through a little bit of a delay and we'll probably see one of the remakes before it. Not a big huge amount of news there regarding RE9. I, like I say, I still think we'll probably see that before any of the newer remakes. But it's saying here that the RE1 remake rumours are complete BS as far as he's aware and there's no any development for RE1 remake happening right now. Dude, this seems like the most obvious thing. Like it just didn't make sense that they were going to be making an RE1 remake already. If anything, they've been alluding to like RE5 remake more than anything. And then like, why would they not do Code Veronica or something else before it? You know, it just didn't make sense for them to go back to RE1 remake already. I personally still think that they will go back to RE1 remake at the very end. I think it's going to be like a bit of a marketing thing with Capcom. Personally, it could be completely wrong. I'm just kind of guessing, obviously. But I genuinely believe that the last remake that they make will be the RE1 remake. And that will be the end of the remakes entirely. And I think that makes the most sense to go back to where it started and end where it started kind of thing. I, th I think that is what they will do personally. And the next thing it's saying here is that RE5 is not actively in development now either and it's been funny seeing people talk about this. Man, well that's surprising isn't it? I mean like if anything a lot of the evidence did support RE5 more than like what everything else has been pointing towards because I remember like when the gold edition of RE4 came out, they'd done a little bit of a trailer on Twitter that actually alluded to RE5 at the, the end of the trailer. There was like Chris saying something. Could be wrong, I just heard about this from people, so I kind of like just believe what they were saying. I don't know, was that completely wrong? That's the thing that was leading me towards believing RE5. And obviously with the end and the cliffhanger of RE4 remake, definitely looking like it was leading towards RE5 with Wesker. I mean... This is surprising. I, I do think RE5 is definitely happening, obviously, but maybe it's not going to be the next remake in line like what everybody's thinking. What do you think about that? Now here's a big one here. It actually says that there is a remake of Code Veronica in development right now. Thank God. Dude, this is the one that I was talking about a little while ago. I'd done a video about it saying that they should not be skipping Code Veronica. If anything, it's just got the set and it's got everything to make like a survival horror piece for a newer remake. I think it's got everything, like the battles can be amazing, the Wesker story can be expanded upon in a Resident Evil Code Veronica remake. Everything can be expanded upon in a Code Veronica remake. Like, I can't wait to see Steve again. I know there's a lot of Steve haters, but they'll probably change him to be like, to like make people like him more. I done a video about this a little while ago talking about why it should be skipped. If any of you fancy watching it, go over there and check it out. But I did do a video about it, so I don't want to go too into detail. I'm just glad that they actually are doing the remake for this game before RE5, because to me, it honestly makes the most sense. It'll be good seeing Wesker again, be good seeing a more updated Claire and Chris from that era. I honestly love Code Veronica. I really want to see like Alexia Ashford because she's one of my favorite villains in the entire franchise. If not my favorite, just behind Wesker. Genuinely could be one of the best remakes if they go about it correctly. And the last rumor here, now I don't think a lot of people maybe seen this one coming, but I'll tell you, like a lot of us, like in my stream, because I have a few Resident Evil enthusiasts come by and we talk about stuff. 
um, and we'd discuss what would be good for the series going forward. Um, but we kind of like thought about this and thought it might not be completely out of the realm of possibility and that is that there is a Resident Evil Zero remake in development right now as well alongside Code Veronica. Now, I don't know how realistic that is. I mean, like we were talking about it. Yes, it would be cool, but for Capcom to go straight in and do a Resident Evil Zero remake right now kind of feels a little bit far-fetched along the same lines of RE1 remake as well to me. It just seems weird that they would do like a Resident Evil Zero remake right now and then maybe they do the RE1 remake a lot later. I don't know, but maybe they want to like build hype for the RE1 remake by doing an RE0 remake right now. I'm telling you though, I think an RE0 remake would benefit that game hugely because like that was such an experimental game. A lot of stuff went wrong with it. There's a lot of stuff that's no enjoyable about it when you go back and play it. I know for a fact it's not one of, it's like my least favorite fixed camera angle game from that era. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff I don't like. Guys, I honest, I'd done a video about this a wee while ago. It was titled uh, Resident Evil Zero, like what was wrong with it, something like that. But I'd done a video talking about everything I don't like about Resident Evil Zero. Uh, I'll try and put a link below here so that people can maybe check it out because I don't really want to like repeat myself. Uh, I've already done a video regarding the Code Veronica stuff. I've already done a video regarding what I don't like about RE0. Um, but I think a remake would be perfect for the game. Um, there's so many things that they could improve on with an RE0 remake that would just make the game more fun in general. Uh, maybe they'll even go down the road of actually making it a co-op game because that's kind of like it would have been good for the original game to be a co-op game because it would have made the controls a lot easier but I'm getting too far into like what could be changed. Maybe we'll do a video about what we would like to be changed in a remake going forward. And the last bit of news here it's saying is actually that uh, the Zero remake is being handled by K2 and M2 who most recently did the Separate Ways DLC for RE4 remake. That's cool. Dude, I have no issues with Separate Ways at all. I thought the game was amazing. So I think like, I'm not worried about who's developing the game or anything. It doesn't really like, I don't think it should be like a worry for anyone because if you've played Separate Ways, I think you will agree that it's a pretty good DLC and probably one of the best DLCs that Capcom's ever made. It complemented RE4 perfectly, took all the missing stuff that was out of the remake and put it in there and made it seem like the whole game is missing nothing. I mean, like, it's one of those DLCs that you could actually just turn on RE4 and be like, oh, fancy playing the DLC of the day because it's actually a standalone experience that makes you feel like you've played a bit of RE4 without actually having to play the main game. It's just a really good DLC overall. And it's actually saying here that the Code Veronica remake is being handled by Capcom Dev 1, who are the people that worked on RE2 and RE4 remake. So that's kind of like really good for me. I love RE4 remake and if those guys are working on the Code Veronica one, I've got faith that the Code Veronica remake will be relatively decent i hope so and if it isn't at least other people will like it i mean code veronica is one of my favorite ones of the bunch uh so like getting a remake for that one correct is going to be a hard a hard task in my book but at the end of the day you know I'm, I'm one of those people who i still have the original so like if the remake's not good enough it's like well you know at least other people might like the remake and i've still got the og that is kind of like my view on it these days you know with that stuff and that's all the news here. You know, I'm glad I've done a wee video covering this stuff because this stuff seems a lot more actually believable than last week's video that we done about RE1 Remake. Like I say, um, I kind of do regret doing that video a little bit because the stuff really like just seemed a bit out there with the RE1 Remake and I genuinely think the person that created it was just trying to get like clicks on YouTube. I know I'm not trying to disrespect the person. I, I respect the hustle. You know what I mean? I, I do. But uh, honestly, when when I like read back some of those rumors, I was just like, man, you know, like I could honestly make a video tomorrow saying I've got a source in Capcom talking absolute nonsense and just like guess at what Resident Evil fans would kind of want to hear. Yeah, it's a shame that gaming is coming like down to that a wee bit, but it is nice to talk about some rumors here and there and we kind of like grasp onto any little thing that we can. But when it comes to Dust Golem, this guy does it on Twitter. He's no out there making a YouTube video trying to get like money or clicks from it and stuff. Uh, so it's not really like he's doing it for the benefit of himself. He's doing it to tell people. You know, he is a credible source in 
the industry with this kind of with these kind of leaks he's one of those people anyway guys let me know what you think about these rumors so far i actually think these ones are pretty credible and uh it's good to see that they are looking at code veronica being the next remake in line which i really think it should be and the possibility of an re0 remake that game needs fixed in my opinion uh check out the video that i made about re0 let me know if you agree with some of the stuff i've said anyway Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Eh?